He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm -mm. It's Gary, baby. All right, it's six minutes after the hour. Y'all, Rick's around the morning show. Gary's. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Y'all, lying in love, honey. She said none of the ladies, not now, none of the ladies, y'all should be blamed, honey, for Tamar Braxton's fire. And she said, listen, honey, I used to be the person that was like, you know what? It will all blow over. She said, but we live in the age now, honey, of social media where it doesn't blow over. It's there forever, honey. And there are things that... Everyone on the show has said that are still living. So you still have to continue to fight for your character. She said, and I think there's nothing wrong with fighting for your character and fighting for your truth. She said, she said, I am tired. She said, I tried to change so you don't have to. She said, but it's just not happening. Yet. So, but I'm just thinking to take my Braxton stuff. Who, honey, who the girl, who got the girl fired? How many, how many years after the day? Thank you. Hell, about 10. <laughs> and they still talking about it. And Tamar, they got a new husband. Who keep a new bringing man. it up? Nah. Yeah, man. It's so You know old. how many people have found new jobs and got fired again? It's, Thank but you. It's the Twitter sphere and the Instagram sphere. They're the ones that keep kicking other dust because I doubt Tamar is tripping, nor any of the ladies at the real. You know what I mean? What it's said, everybody else. He said they got new jobs and got fired again. It's yeah. like. Yeah. Some people, people think of some people on their third job since Tamar Braxton. <laughs> yeah, and Tamar got her third one. She got a half show. She had a half show. She had a um, makeup show and a beauty shop show. Now she got another show. So, Lord Jesus. Honey, people was pregnant when go. Tamar got fired and 90 kids in elementary school. Exactly. What the hell are we still talking about, Daddy? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Lord, so that means Tamar really in high got school. Yeah. She got <laughs> shook up around there, honey, at the real or something, honey. Yeah, Barack now, Obama was president when Tamar <laughs> <laughs> He was. Hey, we're, about exactly. to be on, we're about to be on Joe Biden. Y'all still talking exactly. about that? And didn't y'all say um, Lonnie about to be on the Quaker Oats vibe? So, I mean, oh. some honey for the pancake or something. Like, damn, the Commodores then got yeah. back together. What the hell is we talking yeah. about? <laughs> Zoom about to be another song all over again here about Commodores. So, we just got to pray, y'all. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right. And we're going to all be lifted, honey, and keep them all lifted. And while we lifted, yeah, Frank and Beverly Mason came back to Birmingham again. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Frank is still wearing white, honey. So just in time to <laughs> Just Lord have mercy. We come up with a list. Special game. <laughs> Why are we still All talking about Tamar Braxton being yeah. uh, uh, not being on the real? No one like I can't even believe like we need to come up with things that has happened since. More important <laughs> things. Like, are you serious? Yes, yeah, so, so more serious things. Well, here's something that's more serious, y'all. Um, dear Hughes' son, he was diagnosed, y'all, with, um, um, he tested positive just days after his beautiful father was diagnosed, y'all, with the virus after collapsing on stage. He said, quote, I regret to inform everyone, y'all, that I, too, have tested positive for COVID. He said, um, I'll be lying if I said I was shocked since I was around my dad all week, honey. So far, I'm a symptomatic, y'all, and I hope and pray that I'll stay like that. He thanks everybody for their well wishes and so on and so forth. So congratulations goes out to Kyle, honey. He's Man, when I like, tell y'all, you better keep your immune. If you don't get 5,000 milligrams of vitamin D in your body every single day, and I'm talking about the probiotic, the omega oil, the zinc, the vitamin C, and uh, what am I leaving out? Th those right there, man, you... I, 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 I believe this everybody had it. a good I, defense. I'm telling you, man, I believe everybody had it in January and just didn't know it. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Everybody everybody got real sick in January. Like, uh, like okay, I believe Okay, can it was I say something, strand. Ricky? Yeah, say something. Babe. You were the first Dr. Anthony Fauci. Because do you remember when you quarantined me in a bubble? Mm. Uh, right. Because I was sick. Yeah. You knew that the, something was there that was bigger than what we were used to. And you put me in a bubble and made me do my whole oh, yeah, job. Oh, yeah. Build that, build that <laughs> yeah. damn thing right. You, you knew. That, but there was something in case. there. You knew it was a different than a regular cold. Shoot, oh we saw the germs God. coming out. It, it was like the words coming out with Batman. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can immunize the commercials. Wow. Green monsters. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, walk around. That way. Yeah, you walk walk around looking like that little booger on the little uh, <laughs> oh, little nice. germ on the on the little like shmeagle. Right? Yeah, I, I definitely had a schmeagle look about me. I was sick. Hey. Oh my God, boy, I was on stage one night. Roxy, the, the, the little lady came up. She was short. <laughs> she took a picture of Mike Epps so while he was on stage. My girl said, oh, man, it's the damn germ from the Musinex commercial. <laughs> oh, my Lord. The 
Kahlua today, y'all, is Ash on the high. You say Ash on the low. I say beautiful gray. That's your Kahlua for today. Oh, my God. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. They introduced me to come on stage after that. It was silence. The music came on. I was backstage. I left. I was backstage fast. So I was crying. I couldn't even walk on stage. Oh, man, it's a germ from the music next commercial. <laughs>